everybody and welcome. It's the United Wrestling Network and I am Dustin Starr. Today, we have one action-packed hour of United Wrestling Network. The card is loaded and here's what to expect. Baron Black versus Lord Crew. We have tag team action including a huge main event where the United Wrestling Network World Tag Team titles are at stake as the Bodega, Danny Limelight, and Slice Boogie defend against Midnight Heat. Okay, friends, welcome to this week's Championship Wrestling presented by Car Shield. As you can see, I'm flanked by two new faces here on the program. Why don't you tell the folks who you are? Ciao, David. I'm the Prince of Rome, D3, and I'm excited tonight in Atlanta, really cool city, to represent, to be the ambassador of professional wrestling, Italian professional wrestling, representing my country, Italy, l'Italia, representing Rome, Roma. And I will tag for the first time tonight with the international superstar. Oh, that's me. That is you. That's me, the Sultan of the Sky, Blanco Loco, Sultan Dale, the Prince of Pokemon. And tonight, my friend, we fight Anexia. Let's do it. Tonight, the Prince of Rome, l'Italia c'è, Roma c'è, il Sultano c'è. Two prince, one match, one tag, we go over. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ringside. This is Championship Wrestling presented by Car Shield. <laughs> This is someone who is so incredibly skilled, and, and to have the match end like that Absolutely. didn't sit well with Baron Black. <laughs> and we are off to a fast start as Baron Black is looking to rely on technique and his submission prowess to take down the knockout artist, Lord Crew. And you see the, the vicious right hands now, a cluster of right hands. Oh, going for the knockout blow early, but Baron Black able to catch Lord Crew, going for a German suplex. Crew able to establish a heavy base there. And crew, someone that is so well versed, so powerful, and strike heavy in their offense. What, I mean, what does Baron Black's strategy have to be? Just oh. unrelenting? Well, that's a great start with a backstabber. Keep in mind, there are no rope breaks in this matchup, which means there is no reprieve. It's all about the knockout or the submission. You see the power of Baron Black sending the 240-pound crew to the opposite side of the ring. There is something about crew that has brought out some. Whoa! Oh. Going for the okay. cloverleaf relief already. Oh. Baron Black looking to end this. Lord Crew certainly has it scouted. He has dealt with the pain of that Cloverleaf before. This is now the third matchup between Baron Black and Lord Crew, and it has been a vicious recent history. Snap German release. Boom! The right hand from Crew connects. 
But Cruz, someone that's had a blind rage himself, has just brought some different levels of intensity and aggression, even out of Baron Black, who stormed into the locker room looking for Cruz. Oh, that was a complete brawl that had to be broken apart in the locker room. And, you know, the bare knuckle berserker Lord Crew, it's almost as if we've seen him snap into a, an, an alter ego that is even more dangerous. Keep in mind, this is a guy, Lord Crew, grew up on the streets. He's a bare knuckle fighter who transitioned to professional wrestling, and he is a terrifying individual. He certainly is, and there is no, I don't think Crew knows the word restraint no. or self-control. I think Crew is just someone that unleashes and then deals with consequences. Whereas Baron Black, he's all about discipline. There's a reason he's a member of the Nightmare family, because he's proven himself time and time again as Lord Crew charging in full speed with an uppercut. Oh, oh my, my. God. Deafening Ooh. thuds to the chest of Crew. Oh. You could hear that chop all the way to downtown Atlanta. And now Baron Black with a back elbow as Crew charging in. Oh my. Hoisting up Black. Look at the power of Lord Crew and the lumbar spine crashing off the knee. And now Crew looking to capitalize here. Ooh. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. We're back to Championship Wrestling presented by Car Shield. Lord Crew, Alyssa remaining in control. And now Baron Black heading out to the outside. And quite frankly, Baron Black might not know where he's at. There, there is a very strong possibility. I mean, Crew had a boot on the throat of Black. And it was just unrelenting. Baron Black looking to try and get some of his bearings at ringside. Fighting is just second nature to Lord Crew. Let us not forget in the first match, it was Baron Black who caught Lord Crew in a mistake, was able to score the victory. But in the second match, it was Lord Crew who not only caught Baron Black, but briefly knocked him out just enough for the referee to stop the match. And that brings us to this point right now, as they are just brawling on the outside. Where will this match end? Who knows? Oof. Jeez. Oh my oh, God. No, 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 no. Crew may have just fractured his hand. That's one way to take away the knockout blow of Lord Crew. All of his force, the right fist into the post. And we'd say, I mean, Lord Crew is a hard hitter, so you know that there was no restraint behind that punch that was thrown straight into the metal post. None whatsoever, but you could see Baron Black struggling to get back to his feet. Both of these athletes showing many signs of damage. Knockout versus submission. Something's got to give it. This is just the pain threshold of Lord Crew continuing to use his right hand. This is true. And Crew is someone who has, I'm sure, been through more than one or three or four or seven bar fights. Oh, yeah. There is certainly maybe even worse than Crew has uh, has fought through. I'm sure Lord Crew can't count the number of street fights and bar fights he's been in throughout his life. There's a re reason he's so hardened and so callous as he trades right hands with Baron Black, the head technician in charge, in the center of the ring here. Knockout or submission. Ooh. Oh, my 
gosh. But there is just a certain level of regalness, of royalty to even the namesake, the emperor. Absolutely, as personal as this has got, it's almost like you could see them beating respect into each other as Lord Crew breaking out a surprising move in his arsenal, Insegiri connecting, and now both of these athletes are down. And I'm sure neither of these competitors is, I mean, when they finally come to, are not gonna be happy if this match ends in a double count out. That is certainly the last thing either Baron Black or Lord Crew want. They want to have a definitive winner. Both of these individuals want to say, I am the better man, I am the better wrestler, I am the more powerful man. And look at Lord Crew still favoring the right wrist, but nonetheless still trying to use it as a weapon. Going for the haymaker, Baron Black with the snap German suplex. Didn't quite get all of it, but enough to rock Lord Crew just a little bit. And now the straps are down. Baron Black looking to end Whoa. Lord Crew and a power bomb. Now going for the clover leaf. He's got it in. He's Stick got it down, down low. He does. He has all the leverage, all the body weight. The clover leaf is locked in as Lord Crew desperately inching his way over to the bottom rope, but there's no rope break. There is no rope break here. Lord Crew has to find a way out of this hold, Alyssa. Crew has been probably not so silly over the course of this match. I'm wondering if he even forgot about no rope breaks. Well, survival is just second nature to Lord Crew, and that is what he just did, at least for the time being, as he's able to break the cloverleaf and now utilizing the top rope to his advantage, the throat of Baron Black off the top rope. Certainly using the ropes as even a physical Ooh. barrier. And now... Oh, my God! Submission of his own! Oh, and now Lord Crew! 240 pounds of brute force on the throat. But with the hand injury, I don't think he can lock it in all the way. He's certainly oh. attempting, but you can see the pain etched on the face of Lord Crew. And now Baron Black taking advantage, slowly trying to break the hold here. Baron Black knows that the hand of Crew is injured. It's weak. He is trying to pry the fingers apart. Now even going toward the leg attack. Great awareness by Baron Black with the elbows to break the hold. And now... Switching up into an ankle lock. Oh, look at the torque on the ankle. Looking to tear every possible ligament, but a vicious back elbow and a chop to the throat. But Baron Black, so resolute, undying resolve here. And Oh, look at the shot by Lord Crew to break up that ankle lock. Crew just able to create enough distance to get himself out of the clutches of the Emperor. As both Baron Black and Lord Cruz struggling to get back to their feet, this match quite possibly has been even more physical and violent than expected. There are just, there are levels to this, Johnny, and both of these competitors Ooh. are taking it to new ones. Lord Crew connects. Pain be damned, Lord Crew is trying to knock out Baron Black, and he may have come very close to doing so. The question is, does Lord Crew have enough left to put down Baron Black for good? The question is, does Baron Black have enough left to get to his feet and continue to fight? It'd be so demoralizing for Baron Black to get knocked out once again by Lord Crew. He, he, he truly believes that technique is over everything, but Crew just wants to hurt people, and another right hand, and down goes Baron Black. Now the official has to see if Baron Black can continue. What would it mean again to have the official end the match on Baron Black's behalf? And the official has begun the count. You see the glassy eyes of Baron Black. And Alyssa, you might be right. Lord Crew may have certainly at least fractured a couple metacarpals there in his right hand. But still fighting through the pain this entire time has been Lord Crew. Oof. Baron Black just crashing back down to the canvas, struggling to even get his two feet under him. And this could be the beginning of a violent end as Lord Crew charging it. Go, oh my, Baron oh. Black catches him. Taken down. Baron Black may have caught him and now a bit of a modified clover leaf here as Lord Crew is in dire straits. Oh my oh. God. And now Baron Black, the head technician in charge. Vicious heel kicks to the back of the neck of Lord Crew, and Crew is out. Black has done it. One of my favorite people on the roster, Manny. Manny Lemons, how?
How do you find the zest to be positive all the time, no matter what? Hey, baby girl, bite the sour to get the power. Woohoo! Hey, I've had a few bad games here, and they want to write me off. That's fine. But I'm still Manny Lemons. I'm still the man, the brand, the king of the lemonade stand. Always sour, never too sweet. Always ready to eat, baby. Woo! Hey, you want some? Be full of zest all you want, Manny Lemons. Because tonight, you're going to suffer another loss at the hands of your savior. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. still do. The few, the proud, the Marines. Matchup and David Ali stormed to the ring 
uh, essentially attacking both Allen Angels and Effie. We have gotten no answers whatsoever. And I think we're just going to keep having more questions than answers. I, I did get a chance to chat with... Uh, with Ali about you did I did I wow. actually did he uh, spared a few precious moments for me uh, and I asked him about this matchup against Manny Lemons and he said that he doesn't really care about Manny Lemons in his eyes he is not impressed by Manny Lemons and also conspicuous by her absence is the barbed bat big red that usually David Ali would carry to the ring I, I mean I feel like maybe David doesn't think he needs it against Manny Lemons. That's quite possible. I mean, David Ali has the utmost confidence. His very caustic personality. There's truly nothing that intimidates David Ali. Otherwise, why would you come down and attack both Effie and Allen Angels at the same time as we are underway here? David Ali and Manny Lemons. You know, Manny Lemons trying to build some momentum. People love him in the United Wrestling Network, but thus far, unable to score a victory. And it's got to be so devastating. You you wonder what kind of mental toll it might play on Manny Lemons, who is, I mean, showing himself to be pretty hopeful. Oh, absolutely. You know, cautiously optimistic. Oh. Okay. Beautiful arm drag, and again, to the savior, David Ali. And you're right, Manny Lemons, the ultimate optimist. Nothing ever gets him down. But he puts David Ali down. And is on the attack here. What a victory this would be for Manny Lemons. Oh! Okay! Lemons after the power slam right into the cover and Ali able to kick out a two. And you mentioned David Ali showing no respect for Lemons. He could be looking past Manny Lemons. I definitely think that that could be the case. Okay, Manny Lemons though. Oh, oh he's got power it up. First he's sour, then he's lethal? That's oh. right. Super Mario has the mushroom. Manny Lemons has, well, the lemon. And now hoisting him up, could be going for the lemon drop. David Ali certainly has that scouted. A couple of back elbows, now a kick right to the midsection. David Ali looking to put away Manny Lemons with the butterfly suplex. And now David Ali. Butterfly effect oh. in place. He is setting up this sequence. Full speed uppercut. And now hoisting up Manny Lemons and Ooh. down goes Lemons. And don't forget, David Ali also put down Tony Nese just a few weeks ago in what many saw would be an upset. 100%. I mean, David took the premier athlete as someone that was truly a challenge in Tony Nese, but I don't know if he oh. seems Manny Lemons the same way. The punt kick. Manny Lemons is knocked out cold, and David Ali with an emphatic victory. Here is your winner, David Ali. Alyssa. We all know David Ali to be aggressive, but this is a completely new side. What is going through the brain of David Ali? Even as a journalist, those are some waters I'm too afraid to dip into. What is behind the eyes of David Ali, and who is he trying to save? Who does he want to be praying at the kingdom of Ali? Whatever is behind the eyes of David Ali, it is certainly dark and intimidating. But nonetheless, Ali victorious once again on Championship Wrestling, presented by Car Sheep. Okay, friends, standing by here with the captain. This is Sean Dean. Welcome to Championship Wrestling. Thank you, man. The captain is excited to be here at Championship Wrestling. We're ready to hit him with a deal, just like I've been doing my whole entire career. Spent a lot of time in Chicago. That's where I grew up at. Spent a lot of time in the U.S. Navy. That's where I got the captain name from, you know what I mean? So, Wait a minute. What's, whoa, big hey, man. You know what, man? I want to thank you for your service, but I'm going to tell you what. Your service is no longer needed here, okay? All right. We're the Bash Bros, Dave Turner and Chris Ross. We're the captains of the Northwest wrestling scene. So we want to make a name off you, Captain. Make a name off me, huh? Off yeah. You. That's what we you didn't come up here to the United Wrestling Network to mess around, okay? Uh, you got one more time to push your hands on me. But you know what? No, 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 don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Next week, you'll be here. The captain will be here, and the captain is ready for war. So the Basham Brothers, the captains of the Northwest, it's a wrap for you guys. Bring your boots, bring your gear, be war ready, because the captain will be. You know what? We're going to sink your ship. Ooh. You guys got an extra problem here. I know how to solve it. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? 
A plan through CarShield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. Yay to see it. An out-of-warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through CarShield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. such an influx of international talent here. La Nexion taking on D3 and Blanco Loco for the first time here in the United Wrestling Network. And looks like we're gonna start off here with Angel Fashion and D3, the Prince of Rome. D3, someone that even in his own right has such a incredibly well-versed style, everything from Hardcore to old school to super technical. Oh, Angel Fashion could care less, but right away the technique on display for D3. Also, not to mention the quickness and elusiveness of D3, and now a kick to the back of Angel Fashion. But D3 certainly has to stay on top of his opponent, looking quickly. Great technique once again into a pin attempt there, and Angel Fashion able to kick out at two, and D3, like you mentioned, looks at himself as a modern gladiator, trilingual, Italian, English, and Spanish. Calls himself a technical high flyer, but Mark Davidson with a little bit of an assist there to Angel Fashion, and now a tag. And certainly La Anexion, two individuals that are so, so familiar with one another, familiar with teaming together, know a lot of the ins and outs of each other's strategy. And it looks like there was a tag there by Angel Fashion, and a double team, and a vicious one at that with a basement drop kick by Mark Davidson. Mark Davidson, a luchador from Puerto Rico, calls himself the reflection of wrestling. Davidson has fast dimensions, bad intentions, and certainly an attitude to boot, but D3 with a beautiful dropkick. Mark Davidson in the wrong part of town here. Yeah, certainly in a dangerous area of the ring. Tag. Now a fresh competitor, Blanco Loco, coming into the... Oh! Mark Davidson trying to fight both D3 and Blanco Loco, and... Well, that's an interesting way to be the legal competitor here. Now, oh! Mark Davidson almost able to land on his feet, and now D3 off the top! Cross body connects! D3 not the legal competitor here, the official on top of that. Now, oh! oh! Angel fashion while the referee's back is turned. And you talk about La Nexion always being on the same page. That was a perfect example, and now Mark Davidson in control of Blanco Loco. Davidson, someone who is super aggressive, one of the best talents from Puerto Rico, alongside his tag team partner, Angel Fashion. No question, and they both have a very vicious attitude as Fashion tagging back in, and there's also a third member of La Nexion that we have no idea where he is. That'd be Mike Mendoza. But that's Ooh. also something to consider. Could, could Mike Mendoza be... Lurking around is is could he play a factor in this matchup that we're not aware of? Anything is possible with La Nexion now a chop sending Blanco Loco down to the canvas and they are in complete control. Another tag. Staying fresh with these tags are La Nexion, translating to a, a process that is you know usually violent. Over here, kick out. Usually violent in nature for an entity to take over. We have such a tough tag team division here at Championship Wrestling. Yeah, not to mention new United Tag Team Champions. Abs absolutely right, so... Oh, wait oh, a minute. come on, hold on. Do not mess with the Pikachu power. What has Pikachu done to deserve oh. that? Complete disrespect, and that fired up Blanco Loco. 
You don't mess with a man's Pikachu, or so I've been told. So you've been told, I'm sure. I don't own three or four. But Mark Davidson, powerful strike, remaining in control here. But Loco, oh! The right hand didn't quite get all of it, but just enough to create an opening, and now double boots to the face. Both Davidson and Blanco Loco are down. Looks like Davidson may be stirring a little bit faster than his opponent. And whoever gets to a vertical base, obviously going to have a, an advantage in this matchup. Well, Davidson has tremendous conditioning as he had both men make the tag now. The legal competitors would be D3 in wow. angel fashion. Beautiful sling blade there by D3, and now a cutter. D3 trying to say arrivederci and buonanotte. I should say neck breaker there by D3. Had the, the speed and the acceleration of a cutter, certainly. Oh! A kick to the back of the neck. Angel Fashion, very fortunate, falling into his own corner as Mark Davidson tags back in. But D3, more than ready. A barrage of strikes. D3 firing on all oh. cylinders, but uh-oh. Oh, backslide here. D3 able to roll through, but Davidson looking to power up D3 here. Oh, my. Oh, no, this is not where you want to be. Oh, buckle bomb, but Blanco local able to tag in and... Sensing not, his opponent was in danger. Not quite sure of Angel Fashion tagged into this matchup, but Blanco Loco nonetheless finally on the offensive for the first time in this matchup. This has been high octane as expected, Alyssa. Now Blanco Loco, double kick to the midsection. Oh my. Blanco Loco, someone who is so internationally traveled, and we talk about it again. From all of the Ooh. travel, all of the different matches, all of the things oh. that someone picks up and learns along the way, are they going to be able to serve oh. him in this match? Now there is a cutter from D3, and quite frankly, this is breaking down. The official having trouble maintaining control, but a power bomb by Davidson, and now a running uppercut. Davidson rearing up, ready. Oof. Oh, running in full force into a boot from Blanco. Now I believe Blanco Loco is still the legal competitor for his team. But now Angel Fashion in the ring. Blanco Local able to evade. And now running right into Davidson and a German suplex connects. Oh my. Follow through from Angel Fashion telling his partner to go for the cover. Inventive double team at D3. Saving his partner at the very last millisecond. Dangerously, dangerously close for Blanco Loco. And now Angel Fashion and D3. Going at it, Blanco Loco and Mark Davidson still in the ring. This is, oh! Whoa! Talk about inventive. And, and, <laughs> and talk about opportunistic, taking any moment, any opening possible. Certainly was, and now D3. Looking to pull off a victory here. Angel Fashion is supine and a dropping elbow. That was the heart of Rome and showing so much heart in this match is D3. But Angel Fashion's gone to the outside and now D3 looking to take a huge risk here. Oh my God! The tour of Italy taken out. Both Angel Fashion and Mark Davidson. Each of these competitors making their UWN debut so much on the line, so much to prove, and pulling out all of the stops. No question, D3 certainly made a name for himself over the last couple of years in the States, looking to continue that trend. As he sends Davidson back inside the ring, Blanco Loco is waiting. Now, obviously, La and Exiona have been teammates for quite a long time, but this is impressive here. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Blanco Loco! Did not see that coming. Accidental cutter to D3. Oh no. Very aware by Mark Davidson there. And now La Nexion looking to pile it on. Angel Fashion with the tag. A running knee in the corner. That was just driven straight to the jaw of Blanco. Oh. Slicing Blanco in half, fashion into the cover, and La Nexion. Here are your winners, La Nexion. Well, listen, we talk about chaos.
that is how La Nexion thrives. That's what that match was, chaotic. It certainly was chaotic. It was destructive, and it was La Nexion really proving their dominance in a strong showing here at Championship Wrestling. What does this mean for the rest of the tag team division? That's a great question. La Nexion looking to claim the United Wrestling Network as their new territory, and they just took a step closer to doing so. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Ladies and gentlemen, the United Wrestling Network is always at a fever pitch. And right now, we want to take you to a match from Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, a United Tag Team title match between the champions, the Bodega and the Midnight Heat. Enjoy. Guy Tweekasetti all kinds of fired up because his tandem, the Midnight Heat, with another shot at the United World Tag Team titles. And have the Midnight Heat ever had more momentum than they have right now? Well, have they ever said no to another shot? I don't think they or Guy Tweekasetti ever had. And they'll be ready to party if they're able to cash in on this and become the new tag team champions. And here we see the reigning defending United World Tag Team Champions, La Bodega. It looks like it's gonna be Danny Limelight Slice Boogie Jack, I'm sorry, Joaquin. You've spent some time with these guys. So yeah. impressive. Yeah, you can call them the Tag Team Champions. You can call them the Bodega. I call them Migente because we are pals. Wow. Cayete. Migente. Migente. Joaquin. Danny, why am I just the taste out of your mouth to hear you say I, it like I think I would know. Sounds like, you know what, you might have a point there. Got Papo Esco out there, he casts a big shadow as well. High stakes main event here for the United World Tag Team titles. Should be a good one here to set the stage, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United World Tag Team Championship. Introducing first the challengers. Being come to the ring by Guy Tweekasetti at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Rockin' Ricky Gibson and precious Eddie Pearl, the Midnight Heat. And introducing their opponents. Being come to the ring by Papo Esco. At a combined weight of 422 pounds, they are the United World Tag Team Champions, the King of the Concrete Jungle, Slice Boogie, and the Radioactive Puppy, Danny Limelight, the Bodega! 
The Bodega have been so impressive as champions, no matter what roster they put into effect. They've held the titles coming up on one full calendar year, getting close. And uh, we'll see if Midnight Heat is up to the test. I talked about the momentum Midnight Heat has had lately, gentlemen. I think back to a recent match on, on Primetime Live, they defeated, oh, look out here, Bodega attacking at the belt. Midnight Heat defeated PP Ray. What a statement win that was, but they're in trouble early here. Statement win for Midnight Heat, but Bodega are the ones making a statement right now. Man. Fastball special, Ice Boogie and Danny Limelight there. Midnight Heat are reeling from the jump here. Oh, you're never safe. Look out here. Tornillo. Sensation. Tornillo to the outside. Sensation indeed. Limelight is just that. This guy has made such a name for himself. Really, we saw the maturation of Danny Limelight in the United Wrestling Network. He is a huge star all over the globe. Slice Boogie, the bully, he's been taken people out and leaving a wake of destruction as well. The Bodega, they can either fly and beat you in the air or Slice Boogie can punch you right in the mouth. You talk about momentum. These guys have just been dominant. Been so dominant in their ability, as you sort of speaking to, the ability to change styles mid-match has been such an advantage for the Bodega. Wow. You see the damage big time from Slice Boogie. What a merciless German suplex that was. King of the concrete jungle, all kinds of fired up. Caught him with the German suplex, and now that big kick. Nowhere to go but down for precious Eddie Pearl. Oh, but look at that, good tandem teamwork there. Looking for the double clothesline, nobody home. And another big shot by Slice, dividing and conquering. As they throw the Midnight Heat into the ring, the snap on Slice Boogie going back and forth, pillar to post against these two. I don't know if Midnight Heat has a plan that they can use to get the upper hand. Oh, well there you see it right there, low bridge. Bad fall for Boogie right there into the bottom turnbuckle. Looks like he caught heavily on the right eye. Oh, history to be made. Looking for the cover here is Pearl. I love that drop down and it forced, I don't know that I've ever seen that. It forced the king of the concrete uh, Creed jungle right into that turnbuckle and has really turned the tide. And you know, so innovative when it comes to tandem offense. Look at that right there. The knee was up at Gibson. They know how to hurt you. They know how to work together. They do work together incredibly well. It's why they've been so successful. Like I said, I, I'm not one to play favorites, but I've got to think that the Bodega, though, are going to be able to show them what real teamwork looks like. Well, so far at every turn when they have defended it, they've been able to answer the challenge, whether that's winning ugly, whatever they have to do to get it done, they have. But right now, Slice Boogie is in the worst kind of way. Masters of double teaming, Midnight Heat. And they, as I mentioned, they took out a couple Masters in Peter Avalon and Ray Rosas. Nobody home for the elbow we drop got there. We got work to do. For Eddie Pearl, Reach. looking to make the tag as Slice Reach. Boogie. He's just a fraction of an inch away, but well, playing the whammy bar there, or the arm bar was Pearl and got him right back into harm's way. May have been just a few inches, may have been miles at that point. It wasn't able to make the tag here. And now Midnight Heat, contrary to what I was saying, looks to be in control. They are tag team specialists in their own right. And really going back to that, that drop down and Boogie taking that nasty spill into the bottom turnbuckle, he's not been able to get right. He, he really needs to get limelight into this matchup. You're right. I mean, might be trying to clear the cobwebs, might not have all those mental faculties. Drop to a hold. Oh. In comes Pearl with the senton, and that's gonna bring in Danny Limelight. And that tells me, guys, that Limelight knows that the tag team title reign of the Bodega is in jeopardy. It's something that, you know, Midnight Heat, they like to have fun, but if you look at the faces of all of them right, right, right now, even Guy Tweak Assetti on the outside, they are focused, they are serious, they know just how dangerous the Bodega is, and they're not playing any games, they came to win. These teams know each other very well. Midnight Heat don't want to let this opportunity slip away to become the new tag team champions. And it might be their last opportunity for the foreseeable future. It might be back to the bottom of the pack. They've had opportunities oh. in the past. Didn't get it done. Oldest trick in the book, but one of the best. Good old fashioned thumb to the eye. Thumb to the eye of perhaps an already damaged eye of Slice Book. You hate to see teams take shortcuts, but I guess when you're in there with someone like the Bodega, you have to. Right now, the challengers are in control. Reversal here by Slice Boogie. High elevation backdrop. 
We've got to go to a break. Our tag team title match rages on right after this. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Welcome back, everybody. United Wrestling Network Tag Team Titles up for grabs and throughout the break, dividing, conquering. It's been a two-on-one situation as Midnight Heat has completely isolated Slice Boogie and continue to do so. It has been all Midnight Heat. Slice Boogie, he was able to momentarily create some space, but never enough to make a tag. And now Cover could be new champions. Slice Boogie still able to just get that shoulder up, but look at his face, wrapped in pain. No doubt, and Jack, we know how tough Slice Boogie is, but I mean, it has been a two-on-one beatdown for the better part of five minutes now. It's a testament to how tough Slice Boogie really is. You got Midnight Heat, one of the best tag teams going right now, both doing damage, not able to put him away, but there's only so much a human can take. Well, turnabout was fair play. Slice Boogie, that handful of Eddie Pearl's hair, to try and just get any type of separation, but now it's Ricky Gibson won't have that issue with him unless he grabs the beard. We talk about the Midnight Heat pulling out all the stops. He just pulled out all the stomps. Did Ricky Gibson, the foot stomps even, everything in their arsenal to try and take down and keep down the king of the concrete jungle. You know, maybe, maybe they're finding out that they're gonna need to come up with something new. All the tricks in the book may not be enough. They may need to write a new page to that book if they're gonna beat someone like Slice, Boogie, and Danny Limelight. Well, right now, it's just, you know, they've isolated Slice. It's the tag team title. Oh. It's been a handicap match until that beautiful leg trip. But look at that, catches him. Again, nullifying the tag here, James. Yeah, holding on for dear life, just like we saw Eddie Pearl earlier in the match. They have a game plan. You're seeing the continuity of Midnight Heat on full display. Slice Boogie essentially defenseless. He was on that elbow shot, and it was to the back of the head. And uh, okay, it's just a, lying lifeless. Yeah, it's a shot you don't see coming. You get hit in the brainstem. It can champs. turn the lights out. New champs coming. Here we go. Only a count of two. Surprised I, that Limelight didn't jump in there to break up the cover. I mean, look, look at Slice Boogie. You see him trying to move the fingers. And he's trying to get any sort of signs of life going back in there. Yeah, I mean, that was an execution-style elbow there, Jack. Yeah, I was about to say, I wonder if that was instinct that got Slice Boogie to kick out of that one. And I, I just have to think it's how he's able to even keep track of where he is in the ring right now, even as a tag team specialist, has got to be tricky being spun around and beat down so much. More frequent tags. Look at this. We got Pearl back in there. More double teaming. And all Danny Limelight can do, he's an amazing athlete, but all he can do is look on. He's been a spectator in this thing for quite some time. Look out here. Slice Boogie has got all kinds of heart. And Will Power double drop kick. Dividing, conquer. He picked up the 7-10 split. Maybe just a little bit more than instinct is still kicking in Slice Boogie. Can he make the tag to Limelight? Now he can. Oh, man. Pace is going to quicken here, Jack. Here comes the radioactive poppy flying all over the place as he goes to the top Ooh. rope, walks him, uh -oh. and now he finds himself Whoa. diving to the outside. Put on the brakes, called the audible. 
and one went after uh, Rock and Ricky. Boy, the movement of Danny Limelight, just kinetic motion, extraordinaire snap, German suplex, and this thing is turned in a big way. Perfect form, and I think you, know, you talk about calling the audible and going after Ricky Gibson. I think Limelight knows that it's it's him against the world in there right now. He's got to deal with both midnight cover. Could retain here. Now you see from the backside comes Ricky Gibson. And that's why Limelight did attack Gibson to, to keep that from happening in that save, but I guess just didn't get quite enough of him. Gibson back in, double teaming on the way. They might think they're looking power ballot. Power ballot, how many matches have they won? What is Tweek Azetti doing? Get Guy out of there. Yeah, what? What is Come this? on, what on is here? going we, on? We've got what? fame out here. Fame has made their way to ringside. What? Well, Guy Tweek Azetti <laughs> gets oh, caught. Intercepted. Crowd surfing. Crowds, yeah, look at him. He looks like he's having, I think he thinks he's at a concert. He Thanks. takes a shot at, at Braxton, and now Tweek Azzetti, rough seas for the party captain. Now he runs into Popoesco. From bad to worse. Oh, oh. oh boy. And now yeah. Esco's found himself in a fight that he didn't anticipate. Action outside, inside, just unpredictable. And back in, look at this now, back inside the ring. That's Popo, though, always finds a way to get into a fight. Oh, that, now look, at <laughs> Ricky. And back to our Eddie regularly Girl. scheduled tag team title match, and now it's a double team the other way by the champions the Bodega. Oh! Look at this! Wow! Eddie Pearl is out. Retention from the Bodega. Academic. No, there's Tweak What is Eddie. this? What is? What is this guy Bodega doing? Bodega had the match won. This was over. It was over. What? And now it's Slice Boogie all over Tweak Eddie, the official. I mean, uh oh. What? What's he even doing out on uh -oh, the outside? Oh, Tweek Cassetti, look out. And now, oh my goodness, look at this. Danny Limelight's got the brass knucks. He's put a lot of people away with those. I don't think we need to look at that. We need to look out on the outside here. What? Somehow, Eddie Pearl able to, oh! I think, I think Limelight, caught, maybe just a glancing blow, didn't catch him with the knucks. Well, now the, now the official sees it. The official sees it. And allowing some leniency with the titles on the line. Elects not to disqualify Limelight because he didn't oh! make contact, but Eddie Pearl sure as heck did. Did you hear that? Belt off the skull. No, uh, my goodness. No, 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 no. no. Oh, my goodness. Like not this. this way. Whoa. Not this. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans. Here is your winners and new United World Tag Team Champions, the Midnight P. Whole lot of moving parts in this one. What was Fame doing out there first and foremost? And I know they mixed it up in the interview set earlier. And then you saw Danny Limelight trying to do what it took with the brass knuckles. That got nullified. And then how about this shot with the title? Yeah, the, Bo the Bodega have been all about winning ugly throughout their tag team title reign. But somehow, Midnight Heat were able to beat them at their own game. Don't have to like it. Doesn't look pretty in the box score. But we have new tag team champions at Midnight Heat. Yeah, collecting gold is their business. Business is good. We've seen them defend the Defy World Tag Team titles on primetime heat. And now they've got the United Wrestling Network World Tag Team titles as well. Heat on the street. It'll be a party all night long. Oh man, if the Yachts and Rocket don't come a knock in an almost one full calendar year, guys, for the Bodega, Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Farmer get beat. Your new game. Tag Team Champion, the Midnight Heat. We're going to party all night, and we're not coming down until the sun goes up, baby. History has been made, however, we'll see you next week on Championship Wrestling.